As this month's sequester cuts begin to take effect, my next guest thinks that they're an important step in reducing the debt. He likens them to forcing a 500-pound man to lose 10 pounds. Con I love that. Congressman Kevin Brady is chairman of the Joint Economic Committee, and he presided over a hearing this morning focusing on identifying other debt solutions. He joins me now exclusively. Did you hear anything new or innovative or surprising in that hearing today? You know, not necessarily surprising, except that across a very broad ideological um, spectrum. Shares. Let's talk about that. Ticker symbol BABA skidding to a record low in its very young life today after the company posted the slowest revenue growth in more than three years. But the Chinese internet search giant isn't the only company getting hit by China's currency devaluation over the past 48 hours. We saw shares of Apple fall to their lowest level since January on worries about a slowdown in China. China is Apple's second largest market in terms of revenue, its biggest market for iPhones, and it's got Fox. supplier uh, to a world leader in power management. The stock is up about 40 percent uh, from two years ago. Joining us now, Eaton Chairman and CEO Sandy Cutler, uh, our guest host, uh, Ohio Senator Rob Portman, is here as well. Sandy, it, when we hit, used to talk about Eaton, a lot of times we'd, we'd almost talk like it was a Rust Belt proxy, and that, that really, it's really not fair anymore. Uh, so we can no longer you know, get your analysis on whether manufacturing is necessarily coming back in the uh, in the middle of the country because you've been so innovative. But how is a very special guest joining us this morning by phone with reaction to the jobs report here now in a first on CNBC interview, Texas Congressman and Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul. Representative Paul Sullivan, thank you very much for joining us with this jobs number and the revision to January. Do you feel there is zero chance? I know there would be zero chance if you were in charge anyway, but zero chance of quantitative easing three from your friends at the Fed. No, there'll be plenty of that. You know, when you keep interest rates at zero percent, essentially, isn't that a bit of quantitative easing? I mean, they have to continue. Here, 20 years ago, he took on General Motors and its relationship with his hometown of Flint, Michigan. The documentary is called Roger and Me. Since then, his films have covered topics ranging from gun control, the Iraqi war, and health care. His new film looks critically at the American economic system. It is called Capitalism, A Love Story. And here is the trailer. This is Michael Moore. I am here to make a citizen's arrest of the board of directors of AIG. From Michael Moore. We're actually here to make a citizen's arrest. We're joined right now by real estate developer, New York City local, Matthew Blesso. He is president and founder of Blesso Properties. Matt, so glad to have you in the studio with us. You and I spoke on the phone. You said anyone who doesn't think that commercial real estate is in crisis is kidding himself. That's correct. It's... Um, 
you really have this cloud overhanging in the form of, of, of the assets that banks have on the building on, on, in their balance sheets. And just as we had you know, this huge residential fallout, the shoe, in my opinion, really hasn't dropped yet on, for commercial.